everyone, I'm Suzanne Neufang with GBTA coming to you live from Singapore at our APAC conference this week. And I'm so pleased to have Sofia Oregano, who is the Senior Director of International Sales at Synergy. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Um, there's so much going on. I know we both have a little bit of jet lag going on we as do. we flew in. Um, but we have some really important things to talk about today. Uh, as you think about your business and certainly about your own, uh, your customers and those you serve, how do you balance cost containment with employee experience and wellness? How do you talk about that with customers? It's very interesting. It's really about striking that balance. At the moment, we are seeing cost is central to what corporates are looking for, but equally the experience that they encounter is as important. So at the moment, really what we're looking at is the accommodation landscape and how flexible and diverse the content is. So when we think about the experience and the wellness, we are seeing new emerging types of product come into place. Mm. So things like co-living, things like apart hotels, where there is much more of a community where you can foster a sense of connection. And equally, you can drive down costs with certain types of that product. So it's really about sort of striking that balance in terms of controlling the cost, but also trying to enhance that user experience too. I think as well, the fundamental piece for us is really looking at the fact that we are the entry point from when a business traveler steps off the plane into their accommodation. And so from an experience, we wanna make sure that they step into their apartment and they are happy. So the ways in which we manage that is really through our due diligence and our compliance, making sure that that apartment is absolutely moving ready because that ultimately will play into their wellness. Mm. In addition, technology, no doubt, impacts the experience. And so looking at the guests as our consumers and how can we make that as seamless and efficient as possible. And equally, you know, everyone is trying to do more with less at this point. So the way in which technology can enable those efficiencies are really critical. And I think the last point I really wanna to touch on when it comes to cost is not just looking at that initial price point from an ADR perspective, what is that nightly rate? Because actually when you consider, if you are trying to drive down cost, maybe you'll go into a location that's slightly further away, but to also look at that total trip cost and what does it mean for that traveler to get to where they need to get to? Mm -hmm. And also from a wellness perspective, that commute that they might have. So ultimately trying to balance each of those components to make sure they are as happy and as productive as possible. On a macro and micro level, are there other impactors that, that yes. someone should consider? They are, I mean, sadly in the world that we are in today, we are faced uh, regularly with macro impactors in terms of geopolitical uncertainty, We've been really impacted by the wars in Eastern Europe and also the Middle East. We have a massive population of our guests and our travelers there. So it's critical that we are able to be nimble, act efficiently to get them to safety as soon as possible. And some of the ways in which we do that and try to anticipate is through our collaboration with our supply chain partners, through um, our duty of care protocols, and through our crisis management teams that are deployed on a regional level. In addition, we're sort of seeing natural disasters happen as well. So that same uh, process is then implemented. But I think importantly, data breaches are front and center right now. So the investments that the suppliers have within their operation from a, an infrastructure and an investment perspective is also a macro impactor right now. On a, on a smaller level from a kind of micro level, the, the landscape is volatile with our suppliers. And so we are seeing, you know, post pandemic, there is closures, there's openings, and that is also impacting availability, demand, supply, and of course then price. So being able to manage all of those elements together. There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on, it's tough. Uh, it's certainly taking care of travelers is one of those really, really important fundamental things that we in our industries do. Yes. Um, so are there best practices that you see from your client base that, that are something that impact uh, business currently and the future state? 
Yeah, there's lots. I mean, I think seeing GBTA and WERC combine really speaks to how, clo how much more closely aligned mobility is becoming with mm -hmm. business travel. And for us, this is a best practice. Um, mm -hmm. It's not necessarily something that's new, but we're definitely seeing an increased appetite from corporates in you know, bringing these two business divisions together because then we're really starting to see the innovation come through. And also from a cost perspective, being able to leverage um, both business divisions together is of course um, hugely important. Mm. I think some of the other um, best practices is around driving the experience. So what we were talking about earlier in terms of the supply landscape, particularly in the accommodation world, not just being a bed to stay. What else can we do to elevate that experience? So from additional services to making sure that person feels comfortable and feels like they're at home when they step into their accommodation. So this could be through, you know, um, concierge service, airport transfers, pet friendly accommodation, mm. um, all these types of a la carte menus, additional things that we can do to mm. implement um, uh, services so that ultimately that experience is elevated. I think as well, the other piece that I would like to touch on is around collaboration with our clients in terms mm. of truly understanding their culture, what they're trying to achieve, how can we support them? So some of the initiatives that we have seen be a best practice is what we call like a welcome to your world, where we invite our clients in to speak about their program, their initiatives, and this is across the organization so that everyone who touches that account really can help drive forward exactly what those objectives are because long-term stays and that kind of space is, is not just a one-night stay, they are longer, it's longer a motive. engagements. It's a motive. You are often going to be with your family. You may not be with your family. And so it's really just trying to include, be as inclusive mm. as possible. But it's very, it is a very emotive topic. Mm. As travel is, it, that's it why we're is, here. isn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Suzanne Neufeng, live from our Singapore-based APAC conference here today with Sophia Oregano from Synergy. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. Thanks for having me.